Hey guys, this is Chris with I Want That Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about the Tactical Rigger from Geiger Rig. Uh, it's a uh, hydration pack on the market that's available. Um, <clears throat> what they, uh, they they advertise it as having the their uh, patented hydration engine, uh, which gives you uh, the ability to pressurize your water uh, instead of having to uh, bite on that uh, that all too familiar bite valve and uh, and suck on it and and, and get the uh, get your water inside. Uh, so <clears throat> we're going to talk about this a little bit today and uh, my thoughts and and we'll go from there. Uh, so I've had this for uh, probably close to a month now. I've been able to take it out on a couple different uh, uh, hiking trips, um, and uh, you know, really, really get some uh, hands-on use with it. Um, now, the this guy comes in two different colors. You can get it in black and coyote tan, um, and. Uh, Obviously, you can see the, the, the color option that I have here is the Coyote Tan. <clears throat> now, you can see it's got two different hoses here that, that I was just disconnecting. It's got one in particular that has essentially your, uh, your bite valve on it, um, and uh, this is where the, the water comes through. And then it has a second uh, line here that goes to a uh, pressure ball, if you will. Um, and essentially what that does We'll get this opened up here. It's got a ball very similar to what you'd see on like a, a blood pressure regulator, um, and uh, this guy rides on your on your shoulder here, uh, and basically just uh, lets you pressurize the the unit to uh, uh, optimal drinking pressure. Um, and uh, again, that's something that we can talk about here momentarily. All right. So uh, essentially, uh, what we're looking at here is a uh, relatively standard pack. Um, as a matter of fact, when uh, when comparing this guy to um, my uh, another just standard Camelback pack that I have, um, the uh, the construction of the pack seems to be almost identical. Um, they both have the zip uh, enclosure. They both have a uh, a down the side zip option that lets you uh, you know stow a few things in there. Um, and then they both have uh, the Camelback itself is not open here um, and has a uh, cap here that you deal with uh, to fill. Here in this case this is open, lets you get in here a little more. It also has a, uh, a back plate that you, uh, that you have in there that, that presses back against this hydration engine once you get it uh, uh, pressurized up to, to where you want it. So uh, once you uh, once you get this guy all uh, all zipped down and, and, and tied up, it essentially uh, is exactly the same form factor as uh, just about any other Camelback. However, uh, where this guy really stands apart is here. Um, what we're looking at here, this is uh, this is something that the Geiger rig has uh, very specifically to them. And this is their, uh, like I said, their hydration engine. Uh, now on the front, uh, down towards the bottom, you have your water port, which has a, a quick detach um, plug here you know, that doesn't leak. It can be full of water. You can uh, pop that hose out and water's not gonna go anywhere. You're not gonna have any problems with that. So that's, that's a nice thing there. <clears throat> However, on the other side, you have uh, what they call their air port. And uh, it's the same kind of connection, um, but it runs into a separate uh, um, chamber in the uh, bladder itself that uh, that is specifically for air. So when you when you start pumping this guy up to pressure, uh, what happens is that airs up, puts pressure on the water, and will push the water through. So you're actually not running into uh, an issue where you're, you're you know, blowing bubbles into your water or whatnot. Uh, it really is kind of a cool feature. Um, it's a, it's a, a brilliant idea from a, a usability standpoint. Um, another thing that, uh, that, that's pretty cool about this is uh, they, they have this uh, tacky silicone, so it, it, it sticks together here, then you fold it over, and, uh, and it's got a, uh, a clamp that slides along the, the edge of it and pinches that shut. And uh, once that's there, you're not losing any water. Um, it's not going to leak. It's not going to make any kind of uh, any kind of mess. Um, and uh, it, it really is kind of a kind of a cool a cool way to do it. 
but uh, one of their uh, one of the things that, that that really stood out to me was how easy this is to clean. Now I've used um, I've used standard Camelbacks before, um, and one of the biggest problems is if you if you're if you're going to go on a hike or you're going to do something, sometimes you want something that's not just straight water. Sometimes you want Caterade. Sometimes you want something that's uh, that's got a little more flavor. Um, and the the trouble with that is then you've got to figure out how to uh, you, you know, really hose out that uh, that Camelback and and get it clean. Um, what's so great about this guy is you can actually reach inside and uh, turn this guy inside out. I got big hands, but you can turn this guy inside out like this, and. Uh, and actually throw this just like this into uh, the top rack of your dishwasher. Run your dishwasher, and it's clean. It'll get anything, any any residue, any remnants of of, of sugary drinks or whatever that you got in there. It'll uh, it'll knock that out of there, and uh, uh, and then you're ready to go. So I mean, you can fill it up with with that, with whatever you want. It really is a a, a functional. Um, Bladder. It's it's a great idea. Brilliant marketing. Brilliant uh, construction. Um, uh, I'm I'm really impressed with it. Um, now uh, I've I've got a couple pictures um, of our hike. Most of the pictures that I took were um, of of scenery, so I'm not going to bore you with that. I do have a couple pictures. You can see that where I've got the pack on, um, as well as this one. Now that's obviously just water. Um, now what that was is uh, uh, we stopped along our hike and I actually filled this guy out of the stream that we were hiking next to. Now, you know, typically you're going to, you know, your thoughts are going to be, okay, well, it's not a very good idea because, you know, Giardia or, or any other virus that could be in that, uh, in that water. Well, that's where this guy comes in. Um, now, uh, this is the uh, Geiger Rig Crypto Filter. This is good for, um, I want to say, 55 gallons of water. Um, and considering that this pack is 70 ounces, uh, it's two liters. Um, so, you know, with, you know, one fill per hike or something along those lines, I'm, I'm going to be able to use this for quite some time. Um, 50 gallons is a, is a lot of water for one little filter, but that's, but what the, the coolest thing about it is it just, uh, it, it just snaps into your port like this. Um, you clip your, uh, your, your drink hose into the top of it and you have an inline filter that's ready to go. Um, now I shared this obviously with my wife, with my, uh, with my daughters that were on the trip with us, um, and nobody got sick. Uh, so I'm guessing that's a good sign. <laughs> um, it, it worked just fine for us and, and I was pretty impressed with that. Um, one thing to be aware of though, if you are planning on using something like the crypto filter or, uh, or the other, uh, inline, uh, Virus filter, I believe they have. Um, be prepared; it you are going to lose some um, water pressure. Some some flow is going to be lost uh, because it has to run through that filter before it gets to you. Uh, things that I liked about it: I really liked the convenience of of not having to, um, you know, suck on a bite valve. Uh, some of the stuff that they advertise is uh, is that. Uh, you can actually share with this one, which is which is true. I mean, you just squeeze the bite valve that, that they have, and it opens up that line, and that that uh, that actually sprays water, and it can spray it up to about I would say probably up to about four feet. So it, it's got some good good water pressure behind it. Um, the another nice thing about it is if you uh, you know you fall, you scratch yourself, you cut yourself, whatever, you have some sort of a minor injury or something, um, you can use that to to kind of hose it off. Uh, um, like I said, I, I was able to share, uh, you know, just squeeze that bivalve a little bit and it would, uh, and squirt some into, you know, someone, my daughter, when she was drinking, you can squirt some into her mouth and, and share that way. Um, so it's, it's really, it's a really cool, cool feature. I really like that. Um, I, I'm very impressed with the, uh, the inline filter. There's, there's nothing to it. It's no added weight. Um, typically, uh, if, you know, if I'm going for a short hike, I'll throw, uh, I'll throw the, the bladder in there and then, uh, 
Uh, I'll open this this guy up and just tuck this down here at the bottom uh, because it's it's not noticed. It uh, it just sits there and I've got it in case I need to refill somewhere and I can do that. <clears throat> um, the uh, another thing I liked about it was uh, just the ease of use, ease of cleaning. You know, everything is just kind of plug and play with it. Once you're done with it, turn it inside out, throw it in the dishwasher, and it's clean. Um, I, that's 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 big. I don't I don't want to spend hours trying to get re, you know sticky Gatorade residue out of the bladder that's in my in my pack. As far as things that I didn't like dislikes, um, I was really kind of turned off at first by the plastic taste. Um, you know when I first filled it up. Um, you know, it was, you know, for, for, for a while it was fine, but I noticed, you know, a couple hours into the hike, um, I really started tasting a very strong plastic taste. Uh, now I did find out after the fact that, uh, what they recommend is that you fill it up about three quarters of the way full or two thirds of the way full, squeeze some lemon juice into it, um, seal it up, throw it in the freezer. Um, and then once it's frozen, take it out and let it thaw. And that actually, um... Uh, removes or, or gets rid of that flavor. I have had a chance to use it since I did that and, and I did notice that it did go away. Um, another thing I didn't care so much for, I, I really wish there was a little more room in, uh, in, in the pack itself. Um, I, like to, I like to take things with me when I go hiking. I like to take a first aid kit like to take uh, a few uh, snack bars, um, you know, granola bars, maybe some trail mix or something like that, and there just isn't room in here. Um, so, you know, I'd like it if it was a little bigger. However, that is offset by, uh, by having this molly webbing. Um, you know, you can, you can connect up a pouch here and put a little bit of extra stuff on there, and that's fine, and, and that'll get you by that way. But overall, uh, I, I am impressed. Uh, I uh, I would say that at this point, I'll I'll be I will be hard pressed to go back to a, a standard hydration pack. Um, I doubt that I would be uh, interested in going back to something that that was not pressurized because this just does this does just make it so much easier. I believe this guy retails for anywhere between um, ninety nine dollars and. Uh, I think $130. I think that's the uh, the area you can find this one. Uh, from what I've seen, that seems to be the price point on these. Um, so it's I, I do think it's worth it. They are, they are obviously a little bit more expensive than the uh, than the standard Camelback, um, but uh, but for what you're getting, I think it's absolutely worth it. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and keep checking back here every week for more reviews of awesome products just like this one to make you say, I want one.